All right, so if you're just tuning in, it's our Ladies' Night Out, and we are discussing the impact of digitalization on children. And um, please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at wish 41 with the hashtag with show, or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 So our phone line is open now, so when you call, please remember to turn up the volume of your television set and try to keep your conversation within a minute. Hopefully, they'll let us talk this second half <laughs> so quickly. I was going to say what um, what you said, Uti, is very profound because I remember growing up, sorry, when my children were growing up, um, what I used to do was to make them take ownership. I don't like when you shift. I mean, I was having a conversation with Jennifer when somebody was saying she was complaining about her weight, that she blames her mother. I said, no, I don't like you to push blame. I, take, I make you own, take responsibility for your actions. So with, with my children... Um, Whatever it is that they are watching, even if it is bad, they dare not flip the channel when I'm coming in, right? Okay. So it's better I see what they are watching and I'll explain to them that this is this, this is not so good for you, blah, blah, blah. But I make them understand okay. the consequences of some of the things. So when you do that, it's easier. So that's where you hear some parents who say, ah, I can't leave my child alone to go abroad to go to school. Okay. Come on, he's 18. Okay. How have you raised the child? child yeah. Jonathan, the child is 18 and you're following the child. How, so will you continue to follow the child for it to wherever they go forever and ever? Jonathan, so it means that when you hear, when I, when I hear statements like that, sadly for me, it's a failure of parenting. Mm -hmm. It means you as a parent have not done your job because mm -hmm. your child at some point should be able to tell right from wrong. Yeah, exactly. And when you mention that thing about breastfeeding, when the child bites you, you know, somebody will say, ah, stop it now. Don't be mm, laughing. And they're smiling. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So it is from those little things because children, guess what? Mm. Children test. Yes. My son, my sister's son used to do that. I was telling her, your son is testing you. She thought mm. it was a joke. Until it, came, it became out of her. Now, it was only God that saved her. Mm. He, he would test. They would do something. They would look at your eyes and see your yeah. reaction. Yeah. So when you do not react and everything, mm. they now say, okay. It's Next time, to work. it gets bigger and it gets bigger. And that is how the child becomes that or really mm -hmm. child. I say, yeah. I don't have to be there. Wherever I drop you, you exactly. will respect yourself. And you will sit you down. Will behave, yes. you know, so, but you see, what has happened now with digitalization mm. is that it seems like what we used to frown out, mm. frown at, it's rather, it's now normal when they watch their the same cartoons you're talking about. Mm. That's why now you have to be extra. That's why I was saying that shouldn't we control it from the source? Because even the cartoons, right? I mean, I've seen all sorts in cartoons. Mm. So even the cartoons that they watch, the cartoons tell them it is okay for you to be rude to your mommy or your daddy. Mm -hmm. You know, the cartoons give them all sorts of suggestions. So now they have their iPads, they have their phones, they have everything, you know. So the question should even be, instead of saying, maybe, how do we limit these things? You know, is this something... There, there, is, a YouTube, there is YouTube for kids. Even, even, that. That. even that. So the we thing about YouTube, even, even that, there, there's differences mm -hmm. for every parent. Mm -hmm. This is why parenting is no joke. And exactly. for me, that's one of the problems that we have in this part of the world where we still take childbirth and raising children as a given. Mm. It's okay to not raise children. It takes a lot of work. Yeah, in absolutely. today's world, even more so, because you have the pressures mm. of having to try and make money to raise these children. Absolutely. But, you know, it's not, and that's exactly, I think, what Jennifer's trying to say. It's mm. not enough to say it's a kid's channel now. Mm -hmm. They can watch anything on that channel. Mm -hmm. You have to be clear what shows watch. that they are allowed to watch. Mm. Because there's so many things. I'll give an example. When we were growing up, Voltron ah, Defender of Defender was the show of choice. <laughs> you know, no child grew up in the 80s that didn't watch Voltron. Watch so imagine my excitement, nostalgia, mm. to go on Netflix and find Voltron. Mm. I watched it, all eight seasons of it, very, like, literally back to back, back to back. <laughs> and we got to somewhere in season seven, there was a hint of it. One of the, you know, the five lions, one of mm. the, the paladins, one of the guys who fly the, flies the lion. And they, it was like a flashback, but it mm. seemed like he had a male partner. Uh -huh. Now, oh. the, at the very last episode, you know when a movie ends or a series ends and they start to say, oh, uh, Isi went on to do this, Uwa went on to do that. Mm. And then they show this guy and, oh, he met somebody else and it's a guy. Mm. And in my mind, I thought, this thing played no part. It added no value hmm. so so to the show. Hmm. But all. it was part of the Subtle conversation. Introduction. Yes. yes. Because, and, and we were having a conversation around this, and I said, you know what? The reality of it is, it's just me making the world. There are mm. more of these people in the world now. So that's the situation. Mm -hmm. But what I'm trying to say there is, 
you can't have said, oh, because it's Voltron is a cartoon, is it, yeah. have at it. Mm. Yes. You have to be sure what who watching. the characters are, what they are. Mm -hmm. It is not like, like the, mm. somebody else said, oh, I would never let my child watch it. I said, no. Mm. It's not for you to draw a blanket. Remember, you have to raise a well-adjusted child. Absolutely. And you the child can't must be raise, aware. You can't yes. raise a bigoted child. child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because tomorrow the child will encounter this and go, <gasps> uh -huh. No, mm -hmm. the child has to be in a live and let live. You do, you outdo me, we're all fine. Mm. Yes. Because you will encounter different things. Mm. Not everything is going to be, you know, in line with your culture, not everything is going to be in line with your beliefs. Okay. But those people too have a right. So I said, well, look, think about it. Let's, let's flip it to the reverse. Yeah. At one point, it was black people on the bus. Hmm. At one point, it was black people white being people. able to eat with white people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it changes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the world is evolving and we yes. have to keep evolving. So for kids today, it is, there's so much to think about as a parent mm. that I can't imagine anybody falling i mean i know these circumstances happen but falling into parenthood by chance oh, it's no joke yeah mm. you, it's, there's so much intentionality and deliberateness that has to go into raising it. because think about you as an adult now we mm. were talking during the break about mm. children wanting to kill themselves yes think about the pressure you are under as an adult yes. you as a grown person mm. you are struggling mm. to deal with the pressure <sighs> then take a child child who's now dealing with bullying, who's dealing with social media, yeah. who's dealing... Then imagine now, add you, the mommy that says, eh, don't, don't do watch that. this show. Exactly. Then you go to school tomorrow, everybody's talking about the show, then all of a sudden there's a spotlight because you're like, mm, you're lost. Mm. Do you remember that feeling? Mm. Mm. Let me even come in. You know how um, Cartoon Network used to be the choice channel for kids? Yeah. Mm. Yes. At the time when we were watching Dexter's Laboratory, mm. we didn't see it as anything. Now as an adult, I realized that Didi, who is... Um, Dexter's sister mm. used to bully him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was mm. not a nice sister at all. Mm. And then they had this other kid who was always competing with Dexter and they were always fighting and bullying each, each other. other. Mm. Now you see kids watching something like that and you're like, oh, I can do this to my sister or I can do this to my brother. And it mm. shouldn't be about that. Sometimes kids will end up watching um, things like this or watching movies or things mm. that would not exactly educate them. My dad used to ask us something when we were younger. Mm. Once you're watching something, who ask you, has this show educated you? What mm. have you learned from it? And then you'll be looking at him. It's cartoon. There's nothing to learn. <laughs> <laughs> but the truth is, there are actually things yeah. to you're learn. From See, it. I've sat down when with my... When you're younger. Yeah. In our own time, when cartoon ends, they, they will come and tell you the point of today's show <laughs> was to learn to cross the road. <laughs> it's true. That's how cartoons used to yes. end in the 80s. Yes. They'll Very tell you true. the point of today's Very show. True. Was to you to learn X Y Z, but now no. <laughs> Nothing like Let me that. Let Daniel. <laughs> yes. He's called it from Makodi. Wow, that's Daniel. Thank you for joining us. Hello, are you there, Daniel? Is it Hello. Cool? Yeah, Daniel. Thank you for calling. Let's hear what Hello. you have to say. Go ahead. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes. Um. First of all, let me say I appreciate what you people are doing. Thank you. Uh, this evening, it, um, I think it's um, one way we parents uh, will learn more about how our children behave. Mm. I think um, kudos to you, you people. Thank you. I'm enjoying what I'm, what I'm listening to. Mm. Now, a lot of people have to understand parenting is not an easy job. Yes. Yeah. Just as we go to our normal nine to five job, mm. that's how parenting is. Now, most parents don't have what to give to their children because you don't give what you don't have. Mm. Now, this um, upbringing, proper upbringing, most time is passed from one parent to another. Mm -hmm. And if you look at um, young parents of nowadays, majority of them, they don't have what it takes to bring up a child. Mm. Uh, like... Uh, what people have been discussing about. We now have um, internet parents, YouTube parents, and you know, people don't give, uh, let me know that, people don't care about what their children see on the screen. They don't care about what they listen to. Some people don't even know the friends that they, their children have. And it's that bad. Hmm. Now, so I think, I mean, I have four children, and I'm, I'm pretty young. My first child is, um, is necessary. She's um, 15. 
And <clears throat> I remember when she was small, she brought a pencil home. Let me um, further buttress on what um, the lady on, on my right, as I'm watching the TV, just said. You know, when a child is misbehaving, you know, from that tender age of sucking a breast, when they bite, you spank a little so that the child will know, oh, this thing I've done is wrong. Now, my child brought a pencil home. And I asked, who is the owner of this pencil? She was in primary school. She said, um, I don't know. I said, ah, you don't know? OK, no problem. You don't want to tell me. Tomorrow, we're going to your school. Now, I have a parent. If you do anything wrong in school, they follow you to school, both my father and my mother. Mm -hmm. Now, I got that from them. So the following year, I went with my child to school. I said, you better tell me who owns this parent. This is all right. OK, but long story short, yeah. my, child, my child learned that day that, look, you don't bring home what you don't have, what's not yours. Absolutely. You understand? Now, if parents show more concern about their children upbringing, I think the society will be better for it. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Daniel. <laughs> you know, uh, um, so the, the conversation about what Daniel is saying, mm, and that was what I was trying to explain to Elsie, that a lot of people mistake biology, biological birth yeah, to, to think for parenting. For parenting. The yeah. fact that you can, you, you can come together yeah. and birth a child does not mean that you are qualified to be called to be a, a parent. sperm donor and the <laughs> you know? Oh. So, so um, you, you, but we have some comments. Uh, let's take some comments quickly before we continue the conversation oh. so we don't lose out on our... All right. I get Benson again this. tonight. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Benson. It says, good evening, ladies. It's a big gift and privilege for parents or guardians to match a child's ability to the digital aspect that brings about their fulfillment. That now, this is. one is... Mm -hmm. I, I agree because... I mean, how old is Mark Zuckerberg? How mm -hmm. old, you know, they're getting younger and younger. If you look at the people who have, um, they're these twins all those on, people, all on the YouTube. Companies, yeah. You know, all these kids that even mm. forget the ones who are even as much as, you know, tech companies, mm. the ones who are leveraging these platforms mm -hmm. and making millions and as making, children, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, so there's you a boy need to be able every, to connect. There's a the boy right that one. every video game that comes up, the guy, they're paying him millions of dollars he mm. he's the one that would approve it okay this is good i like the wow. game mm. he's just testing games so i, I mean like there's that. a whole <laughs> genre yeah on youtube mm. you know we we watch video games mm -hmm. we play video games mm. Mm -hmm. children these days sit and watch youtube to watch people playing game yes so mm. i mean i thought they were watching the game no they are We're watching analyzing. me mm -hmm. play the game mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. hear me again they are watching me Play the game. Mm. So I sit and I'm watching you doing mm. <laughs> what? It's like madness. Mm. But it's a thing uh -uh. For, for 12, 11 years. That well, my son age. has wow. a channel that he follows that the guy is teaching them how to play Fortnite. The guy is a billionaire. He says, Mommy, all these things that you are just saying sometimes, you know, you know, he just opened another YouTube page and he has already two million followers. Mm. What he I say, okay. So you see, it's not like digitalization is in itself a wrong or a bad thing. Mm. It's just for us to be able to channel, mm. yeah. you know. You know, let me take two Missy, I think, from Ibadan. Then we'll just... Timothy, rather. Thank you for calling. Oh, I think we've lost him. Timothy, are you there? Is it delayed? Because they seem to... Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's take... Uh, Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Hold on. We need to be quick, quick, quick. We don't have time again. Hello? Okay, I don't think you can hear yes, us. Yes. Um, well, the idea is for us to be able to create our own African content, okay? Um, the thing is that we are trying to get all of this American and British content for our own African kids. And mm. the values that they pass in that show um, or on those shows may not really be the best for our children. We understand our own environment, we understand our own kids. So we need to be able to invest. Yeah, and television. look at, we've been, we've had television for almost 50, or more years in Nigeria, and we don't have a dedicated African indigenous channel for our children. That even local that's a that's a huge um, letdown. So I think that creating our own games, creating our own content around media content for our children is just the way forward. Perfect. Thank you, Thank you Timothy. That was where I was going when I said, "Can we control the narrative?" Because uh, you cannot. These people. <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll go let me say something. Let me say something. Yeah, I like what he has said. I understand mm -hmm. that. I've watched um, um, our own Nigerian cartoons um, in time past, but I don't know if they still do them now. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, like Isi said, no, like um, Uti said. There are still people that are out there to perpetrate evil. Mm. There are still people that are out there just to get kids. Mm. Now, I've seen parents who have said, oh, they just decided to go through their child's Facebook um, messages or Facebook um, or Instagram DMs. And then they saw that they're, they use their accounts that act like they are teenagers, yes. but yes. they're actually men, men who are out there to mm -hmm. teach Great. little kids. No, 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 that was even different. Even these cartoons that you're talking about, See, if, if, for example, if I say, okay, I just want to catch the attention of kids and I want to teach them bad things, I can still use the Nigerian content mm -hmm. to do that. I know, but if we, first of all, better, let us even, let's even have one that is our Habit. own. And it's not those ones that they used to drop pencil and buy. No, Remember that no, time they'll no, be talking, we, we hello, are so we are quite, we, we don't want that kind of, we want the cartoon that can match the standard, the quality that they have in Hollywood. But I've not heard Isi in a minute. But we have another comment from Rafael. <laughs> Quickly. Okay, so we have a message from Rafael. Rafael said, foolishness is bound up in the heart of a child. The rod of discipline, that's correction administered with godly wisdom and loving kindness, will remove it far from him. Proverbs 22, 15. Okay. Mm -hmm. so All right, and that was what you were saying. Yes. Uh -huh. oh, you yeah. spare the rod and you spoil the child. But the key thing here is this. For me, digi um, digitalization has come to help us in one way or the other. Let's mm. look at it. Let's call it spade a spade. Mm. It has its flaws. Yes, mm -hmm. we know. But it has also enabled learning yeah. in different ways. We have different apps that have been developed by different people that has aided individuals to learn. Mm. Even without, look at people, who um, children who have um, special needs. You, don't, you can't be there 247 with them. So you can engage them mm. with these little apps or these learning apps. Mm. And in the course of them doing this, they get to, they grasp it faster. Well, honestly, yes. Basically. Yeah. What is so it there said? are lots of things that we have to also look at you know, positively from digitalization. Bad, you know, my children, uh, when they were young, hmm, Latana Ventures, oh <laughs> God of heaven, they chop my money. Me and my husband, we'll go, go there, we'll go chatter. And the thing is, I always say to parents, do the work when they're little. Yes. Because honestly speaking, when they sure. cross that age, gone. eight, mm -hmm. yeah. forget it. Mm -hmm. Anything you've not put there cannot be mm. manufactured. It will only exactly. take the grace of God. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing that's impossible. Exactly. But I remember that we used to buy DVDs and these things are available. Yes. So you are the one that should control at that age. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, anything beyond that, mm -hmm. they now would be independent enough to say, this is good for me, this mm. is bad for yeah. me. Yes. You know, okay. Let's take the last call. Tommy Lola from Ogba first, then I'll continue. Mm. Tommy, are you there? Quick, quick. Thank you for calling. Chop, chop. Hello, good evening. Thank you for calling. This is Tommy from Ogba. Yeah. Mm. All right, so what I want to add, uh, first and foremost, I want to say to you girls, well done. Thank good you. Job. Thank you. Now, what I want to say is this. See? We can change the narrative right, in different ways, but it starts from the family. Mm. It starts from every family. You know, I, I used to pass through Oshud while coming back from work. There's a place in Oshud where you see young boys age 14, 16, like, you know, you see them in their numbers out there. And I will ask the guy, I know the guy used to go with me, I'll ask him, is these guys here, is it that they don't have parents or what? Why are they here? What are they doing here? Every issue you, you see today in the, in the society starts from the home. Yeah. Mm. It's a failure of the family mm. that you are saying, uh, I mean, um, armed robbers, you are saying bad people out there. It starts from the family. When the family fails, you know, then there are the issues in the society at large. No way push. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you for keeping it short. So, <laughs> you know, I, I like what everybody is saying, but we're, we're, it's like we're missing the point about raising the child or digital. So this one now that you're talking about armed robber is not digitalization that is making them to become yes. armed robbers. No, it's, it's the well, foundation. It's the, it's the foundation. Yeah, that's the what foundation. he's saying. But that's this a different show for another day. Yeah, it's yes. a different show for another day. When he was day. talking, yes. I was thinking about my story yes. that I wanted to yes. But that's a different show. It's a show. different show for another day. Mm. You know, but I was just saying that. So we introduced them very early, mm. you know, to DVDs and content, you know, that they were watching that mm. really shaped... Molded their, them, It right. molded their minds, yes. right. You know, of course, 
they will derail at some point where i mean my son yesterday we were having a conversation and he was using style to tell me that there's somebody that is making him distracted mm -hmm. i say it's okay for you to have a girlfriend I, I, he said why am i excited i said ah these days you have to be happy that your ah, your son yes, will tell you that you. I, I like, I a, like girl. a girl <laughs> you have to be happy <laughs> <laughs> so let me first of all let me first of all thank god <laughs> I, mean, I just i was telling him he was he was he was wondering he was wondering mommy why are you happy he said he said your son ain't happy i said no at these days and age you gotta be happy first of all thank the lord yeah, right they say get yeah, first that is in the picture yeah. so we thank god you know so it's not how to manage the yeah. emotions yeah. and online i mean social media um the tech world cannot teach your children you yeah. have you at have the end of the day them. you have to come back you know to wait you know, to just guide them <sighs> The time, time has gone poop. Yeah. poop. <laughs> well, we have to bring that part two again. Thank you, ladies. We had an amazing show. All right. So, Ways was birthed from the need to inform, inspire, and influence lives towards action. And this year, we started a CSR focus on curbing unemployment in Nigeria. So, if you're a partner, please. Um, if you're a company, please partner with us. And if you're a job seeker, keep watching Ways and follow us on all our social media handles, as this will be an all-year-round engagement. So, tell your friends to keep all eyes on Ways. In case you missed today's quote, here it is again. Teaching our children to control themselves is far more effective than trying to control our children. I mean, we've said it all and you've heard it from all angles. Thank you again, ladies. So we'll see you guys live tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.